Coming up on Serial at Midnight, we enter the Inner Sanctum. All six films on Blu-ray for the first time. Our review right after this. Guys, what's going on? Welcome to Serial at Midnight. My name is Heath, and in this episode, we are talking about the arrival of the Inner Sanctum Mysteries on Blu-ray for the very first time, thanks to Mill Creek Entertainment. We actually have an unboxing video of this that's already been posted on the channel, and in that unboxing video, you can also see uh, the 20 films Hammer Films Blu-ray box set, the 12 films Rita Hayworth Blu-ray box set. We've got reviews for all of that coming soon, but we're kicking it off with the Inner Sanctum Mysteries. I'm such a huge fan of Universal, this era of Universal, Universal Horror, and so, like ever since this was announced, from the moment this was announced, I've just been on pins and needles, and to have it finally, I just it feels so good. Speaking of Universal, if you look over my shoulder, here's our Universal Monsters box set, our Legacy collections back here, uh, Dracula, Frankenstein, The Wolfman, and The Wolfman plays into that because, of course, The Wolfman was played by Lon Chaney Jr., and Lon Chaney Jr. is the star of all six of these films. And it's a really interesting snapshot. This box set presents a, a very interesting snapshot of both Lon Chaney Jr. and Universal as a company during these, these years. This is 1943 to about 1945, and Lon Chaney was a star on the rise. He'd come off of the success of The Wolfman. He had, uh, he'd been Lenny in of Mice, of, of Mice and Men, and he was really uh, on an upward trend. And Universal, of course, this is the war years. This is World War II. And this is kind of like the closing of the book. This is the end of an era for this kind of Universal movie. These chillers, these horror... See, these aren't technically, they're not horror movies. They're more... They're mysteries. That's in the title. They're inner sanctum mysteries, but they're dark stories. There's beheadings and there's murder in every single one. Every, every, every inner sanctum mystery begins with a floating head and a glass like a, a like a, a crystal ball talking to us telling us that even we are capable of murder and that the brain is a convoluted thing it's it's very chilling it's very dark and i i love it especially in a time where you know the 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 Hayes Code is really cracked down on what you can and can't do in movies. This feels like the, the holdover. It's like the last stop for a certain kind of movie. You guys want to know how these look. Uh, six movies on Blu-ray for the first time. What do they look like on Blu-ray? They look really good. I gotta say, they look really... They look better than I've ever seen them before. Uh, there's a lot of good like grain grain is not the enemy grain is good if you're seeing grain in an hd uh, hd restoration that's a good thing the more rest you know the the more detail you're getting out of that image the more grain you're going to see for stuff from the 40s of course uh so i think they look absolutely beautiful the contrast the grayscale, that monochrome black and white photography it looks really good there's some experimental filming here too this some of the uh, the the director of some of the first few movies uh, was really into sort of bringing this experimental tone to the filming. It looks so good. You can see patterns and suits and things. You know, like suit jackets. You can see the the weave and the knit. I don't think I've ever seen that before. Um, so they, I, I'm very happy with. I don't know that these are new transfers. I don't know that these have been newly restored for Blu-ray. These are from Universal's vault. I don't know when they did this. This could have been a while back. So uh, it's not. I don't think they're like 4K transfers, but they do look really good. I, I do have to say this. Five of the six are fantastic. The last film in the series, uh, Pillow of Death, seems a little bit darker. The contrast isn't quite as sharp as it is on the others. Maybe a little bit muddier. So that makes me wonder if when these restorations were done, if they had to go to a source material other than, say, the original camera negative or the, the early, like an early first generation print. It may come from a later source, but it still looks good. There's still a lot of good detail and grain there. I just feel like it doesn't quite rise to the same heights as the first five. That's just my eyes. You might have a totally different reaction to it, uh, but I think it's fair. It's safe to say these are well worth picking up also because of the special features. There's about an hour of special features here you know let's talk about the booklet itself because that in and of itself is a special feature actually if we're talking about packaging 
I want to shout out the packaging for this. I, I'm often impressed with Mill Creek Entertainment's packaging, but there's a little detail here that I just wanted to say, like, I see it. I see what you did and I appreciate it. The history of Inner Sanctum, it started as a book series around 1930, uh, and it was a radio series starting in 1940. It was a, the success of the radio series, I think, that kind of fueled the uh, the film series. That that it, There's an interesting history there, and it's, it's all chronicled on the discs and the special features, but those early books, the Inner Sanctum Mysteries books, had a seal that said the Inner Sanctum Mysteries, and they have included that, look there, right there on the top, an Inner Sanctum... <laughs> We steady that for you. An inner sanctum mystery. That little seal is on both the slip case and it's on the actual uh, Blu-ray case itself. And I just wanted to shout that out. The packaging of Mill Creek frequently goes above and beyond. The guys in charge of this are at the top of their game. Look at the Ultraman murals, you know, like the, the way that the Ultraman seasons combine to make this mural. It goes above and beyond. I just wanted to shout it out because I see it and I appreciate it. Uh, the booklet. Let's talk about the book. Uh, there's a ton of information in here, kind of an overview of the series itself. We've got an introduction to what is the Inner Sanctum Mysteries from C. Courtney Joyner, who's one of those experts in this sort of thing. I aspire one day to have half the knowledge that people like C. Courtney Joyner have for this sort of thing. I mean, they know, uh, this is Lon Chaney Jr. starred with Evelyn Akers here. This was their, you know, they'd, they'd appeared in all these movies together. This was their last appearance. This person was Auntie M in The Wizard of Oz. You don't recognize this, but like just connecting all these dots to these different, uh, these different careers. It's just such a familiarity with these people in their lives. And, uh, and C. Courtney Joyner pops up in a commentary for um, the, the first film in the series with the, the director's daughter. The, the, the first three films had the same director and his daughter is here doing a co-commentary, the first one with C. Courtney Joyner. Uh, we have a write-up of Lon Chaney Jr., sort, sort of where he, where he came from, his career, where his career led him after these movies. I say this was kind of the closing of an era for Universal. He goes off to Westerns, he goes to High Noon, he did, you know, all these things, uh, putting it in context. And then, of course, we know he ended up in a lot of these 60s exploitation movies. But what an interesting career from a man who had, like the, you know, he's a different character in every single one of these six movies, but... All of these characters are haunted. They all have their demons. And Lon Chaney Jr. had his demons. It's a very appropriate bit of casting. Uh, here is our rundown of what's included. Uh, and I have to say, there's a few... There, I hesitate to call them errors, but it's, uh, you know, like the creaking door entering the inner sanctum. That's a history of the radio series uh, with author, radio historian Martin Grams Jr. That runs... Uh, it's about... You know, these run under half an hour. That's about 20 minutes, if I remember correctly. And they're talking about... It's super informative. It's incredibly informative talking about, you know, the radio series, the people behind the radio series, how they made it. Ballyhoo is... A, they make such good special features. And uh, they're... It's... A special feature should be informative before anything else. And I learned so much from these. But what I want to say is disc two, um, the, um, this is the Inner Sanctum making a universal mystery series. The booklet lists it at 55 minutes. It's about 31 minutes long. It's not 55 minutes. Uh, it makes me wonder if, um, also Mind Over Matter, an archival interview with the actor Martin Kosleck, uh, it says it's 20 minutes. It's like 11 minutes, I think. Uh, so it makes me wonder if these, by the way, Martin Kosleck, Breaking Bad on Lon Chaney Jr. They ask, the, the interview closes. It's an arc. He's, you know, he's, he's, he's gone now, but it's an archival interview. They, they ask him like, what was it work, like to work with Lon Chaney Jr.? Not, he didn't have good things to say. They notoriously, uh, did not like each other. And you can, you can kind of say like, it's understandable, but um, I, it makes me wonder the, the actual running times of these special features. I wonder if maybe current global circumstances with, uh, you know, health issues, uh, maybe, maybe original cuts were intended to be longer. I don't know. That's speculation and speculation does not really belong in a review. We try to go by the facts, but I just want you to know the running times, it's not a 55 minute documentary. It's 31 minutes. Uh, calling Dr. Death is our first film. It's kind of a rundown on the movie itself. Who's in it, what it's about. Weird Woman is the second film. If you want to know what my favorite is of the Inner Sanctum Mysteries, it's Weird Woman. It takes place on a, like it's got a Pacific Island element. There's tiki's, there's this like mid-century voodoo sort of, it's not mid-century yet, but there's like this whole supernatural element to it. Dead Man's Eyes, wonderful film. Uh, the Frozen Ghost, 
two, two of these deal with like mental powers, telepathy, hypnosis, that sort of a thing. Strange confession, you guys, this is, uh, this is really powerful. Um, in fact, I'd go as far as to say this might be a good Christmas tie-in. Grab this set and watch this around Christmas time because it's very seasonal. It takes place at Christmas and it is dark. There's not a whole lot of dark Christmas stories out there. I mean, there's some, of course, but uh, for this era, like, it's good. Pillow of Death, that's the last one in the series, and it's uh, the, the title is kind of a spoiler for the story, but it's good stuff anyway. Uh, I, I love it. Uh, the, the, here's some trivia for the um, each movie has a little bit of trivia where they're just helping to further connect the dots for us I love this stuff again special features should inform they should teach us uh, what they should educate us on the, the backstory of these movies how they came to be who's in them connecting dots you know they, they do that they're again I'm talking about like Evelyn Evelyn anchors and uh, J Carol Nash all that stuff Check this out. This is kind of a montage. Darkness, death, dementia. I love the way they've spelled demen dementia. Is that like, like dimension? Is it like an alternate meaning for dimension? Anyway, it's it's great stuff. Uh, and then there are more bonus features that are digital exclusives. Those are at Movie Spree. There's um, some radio show episodes. Uh, there is. Um, I think the the. I mean, I'm trying to get back to that page in the booklet so I can be specific with you. Uh, the 1948 Inner Sanctum, 62 minutes. Lady of Burlesque from 1943, 91 minutes. Inner Sanctum Mysteries radio episodes. It's it's a really great package, and I think the price is right for this. Um, as one of my most anticipated releases of the entire year, I am not disappointed. I'm actually very happy with this. It's something I'm going to be revisiting a lot. These Each one of these movies is right at an hour. They're like an hour two. The longest one is an hour six. One hour and six minutes. These were B-movies from the golden age of B-movies. You know, before the the rise of the exploitation genre. This is kind of exploitation of a different kind. This is These, these are monster movies. These are chiller movies. These are uh, what, you know, what darkness lies in the human heart. That kind of movie. Uh, and they're just wonderful for what they are. And again, uh, Universal would never quite be the same after this. You know, we have the 50s monster cycle with uh, the creature from the Black Lagoon, but it's not the same thing. And so to have more Universal, uh, peak period Universal on Blu-ray is just, it's, it's wonderful. So guys, I'm going to put a link to where you can buy this in the description of this video. Uh, I do, of course, give it uh, a serial at midnight recommendation, and if you pick it up, I want to know. I would love to continue our conversation about this in the comments below. So important for us to keep this stuff relevant, to keep talking about it and elevating it, because though it was, you know, some 70, 80 years, we're talking about the 1940s, but it's still... It's still relevant. We're talking about decapitations. We're talking about murders. Uh, this stuff is still as fun as it ever was. Guys, thanks so much for joining me. Thanks to Mill Creek for sending this over so I could review this for you. Take care, and until next time, I will catch you later.